Hi, I'm Simon with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we're going to show you how to repair your appliance. Are you ready? Remember, anytime you work on your appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there is no chance of electrocution. In this video, we'll show you how to replace the drive motor stator in a Samsung washer. It's going to be a very easy repair. It should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. For this job, we're going to need a Phillips screwdriver, a socket wrench with a 10 mm and 19 mm heads, small flat blade screwdriver, and some thread locking liquid. When you open up the package, you're going to get a new drive motor stator. The drive motor stator is the part of the washer's electrical motor. When energized, it creates an electromagnetic field that turns the rotor and the inner top. The main reason why it would need to be replaced is if its windings burn or short out causing the washer not to work. To get to the part, we need to remove the rear access panel. So get behind the washer and using the Phillips screwdriver, take out two screws, one on each side, that holds the access panel. Then lift it up to release the bottom hinge here. Pull it out and push it down. Then we can take it off. To take the rotor out, we need to remove that 19 mm bolt in the center. It's going to be a bit hard to do, but there's a trick and I'll show it to you. Do you see those three holes? If you are going to align the bottom one at 6 o'clock and the other two with a 10 and 2 o'clock accordingly, you can insert the Phillips screwdriver in the hole on an angle and jam the rotor. To break loose the motor rotor bolt, install the 19mm socket wrench onto it and turn the bolt counterclockwise, jamming the rotor with the screwdriver simultaneously. Using the wrench, remove the bolt. Remove the rotor from the shaft by racking it side to side. Be careful, it's pulled back by the magnets and you may pinch your fingertips. Using the small flat blade screwdriver, press on the tab and disconnect the right side plug. Press the side tabs and pull out the left side wire plug. You can assist with a small flat blade screwdriver if needed. Now we can remove the motor stator itself. Using the 10 mm socket wrench, take out, turning them counterclockwise, all six bolts that hold the stator. This is the old drive motor stator, next to the new one. If you don't have this part, you can get it from AppliancePartsPros.com. There are three small posts on the bearing housing and three pilot holes on the stator. Match the posts with the holes and install the new drive motor stator and secure it manually with a couple of bolts with one at the top. Install the rest of the bolts and tighten them with a 10 mm socket wrench, turning it clockwise. Plug in both wire harness plugs. Bring the rotor and holding it by the very edges Slide it on the shaft. Use the racking technique to push it on. Hold it firmly on because of the magnets. It's going to jump on the stator. Don't worry if the rotor won't go on all the way. It will slide after you tighten the bolt. Squeeze some thread locking solution on the motor rotor bolt threads. Screw in the bolt manually as far as you can. Use the same method to tighten the bolt. Jam the rotor with a Phillips screwdriver using one of the three holes and tighten hard the bolt with a 19 mm socket wrench. To complete the repair, we're going to install the rear access panel. Slide the top two tabs into the cutouts, then put the bottom two tabs into the cutouts. Slide it down and secure it with the two Phillips screws. Plug the washer in and make sure it runs good. 
Thank you for being a part of another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. For any of your future appliance repair projects, please check out our other repair videos available on our site, on Facebook, and on YouTube.